10th of April 2019. Today I came to Primorsk metro station of uh, Vasilevsky Island of St. Petersburg, Russia. Vasilevsky Island, in English also pronounced as uh, Basil's Island and uh, Primorsk. It is consisted of two Russian words united in one. Uh, pre nearby Marskaya Sea, sea. So it's like nearby the seaside, and it's really so because. Uh, just one mile from here, if you will go that way, you will get to the Gulf of Finland uh, or a Finnish Bay, which is connected with the Baltic Sea. And now I came here to this part of Vasilevsky Island that to show you an architectural city symbols of the late Soviet Union epoch of uh, constructivism. I'm talking about those houses on legs or sometimes also they say on a chicken legs now this is the street which used to be called as a prospect of october and then renamed to the uh, nova uh, smolensk embankment because this is smolensk river and it's literally just the embankment new embankment of uh, smolensk river and here at Novo Smolensk embankment, house number two, house number four, six and eight located those, um, you know, uh, houses, residential buildings on legs. If you will look at the map of St. Petersburg, you will see that in eastern parts of Vasilevsky Island, which is next to the central district of St. Petersburg, is a typical 19th century place with all those typical for St. Petersburg buildings. But another half of the island, uh, the western side, it's a late Soviet Union part, you know, postmodern constructivism. Until like the late 70s, here was a desert. And uh, back in uh, uh, 80s here was built these houses which are became the real city symbols of late Soviet Union epoch of uh, constructivism in architecture four of so-called houses on legs sometimes on chicken legs four 22 storied residential buildings at Novo Smolensk embankments. I know that many foreign people, especially now, may find these buildings as just gray and depressive, but that's mostly because you consider it through the prism of the present days and uh, your own culture and just don't know the history of these buildings. Back in the 80s, such a project was really unique. First, it was higher than most of Soviet buildings back then, especially in St. Petersburg, 22 floors. Second, while most buildings were constructed of just typical blocks or panels, it was based on a rare, back in those days, technology of monolith. At least all bearing walls here are just a one big monolith, solid concrete. Third, in the moments when most of buildings in late Soviet was just flat, it uh, has an interesting folded structure and uh, design. And fourth, it's uh, absolutely unusual architectural decision to put it on uh, such a legs. The project was made by Vitaly Sohin, a member of the only organization in St. Petersburg responsible for special architectural projects. By the way, he is also um, an architect for the Leningrad seaports not far from here, also on Vasilevsky Island. As a Russian and uh, even a part of uh, Soviet, I can say this architecture is uh, really in harmony of the epoch of late Soviet days. It's like the music of uh, Dmitry Shostakovich. May seem a bit dark, a bit depressive, but so brutal, monumental, powerful, and that's the real art. Same here, it completely depicts that epoch, you know, greatness, power, strength, brutality, force, and uh, art. Also, we need to keep in mind, uh, back in those days, the building looked some better since uh, 1988, 31 years later now. It has got dusty, got those smudges from the rain and snow. But the worst thing is that back in those days, there wasn't any laws uh, regulating what you can do with a facade in this uh, new uh, relatively new to that um, time buildings. So many people changed the uh, 
uh, wooden windows to plastic one with a different design and the word thing is the balconies they glass the balconies in absolutely different uh, style some are not and now this is um, uh, the most visually uh, I mean now this is something what visually creates the main imbalance I think that sooner or later but the managing company have to oblige all the residents to clean it up to remove these glasses from the balconies okay so the building have 22 floors 221 apartments in each building uh, it's about 10 flats on a floor only one entrance to the building in the center of this uh, there's also no basement of course having such a structure uh, there are several versions why uh, has uh, the legs like originally it was planned to be built right in the water on the shore but more realistic it's uh, against the possible water floods but there wasn't uh, any water floods at all uh, but uh, mostly this is I guess just an architectural decision uh, many people visually don't really trust uh, how safe this building being supported with just uh, those legs can be but uh, they don't know that traditional buildings usually have no more of bearing walls than this one but just visually it seems uh, more comfortable for people when they see like uh, the walls all around and they are thinking that all these uh, walls are like bearing walls and uh, supportive the balconies are almost on uh, each floor ex except just the one in the about the middle almost in the middle that's where they hit an additional bearing for construction if i understand this right this is a horizontal support uh, for those vertical solids monolith walls and uh, about right in the middle for equal distribution of the support power here are one two and three room apartments an average price to buy if you want uh, it's uh, about 100 110 uh, thousand uh, american dollars and a monthly rent if you will want to rent is about 400 uh, dollars a month okay i hope you enjoyed the review comments like subscribe see you